Hi guys, welcome to a new series. It's going to be a Road to Glory wager style. This is going to be done via the live stream on Twitch. And what it is, is I'm going to start off with this non-rare silver BPL team and aim to upgrade, first of all, to a non-rare, um, to a rare silver, then a non-rare gold, then a rare gold team with you lot, well, being involved, basically. So, how am I going to explain it? If I lose a game... I then downgrade to a bronze, a uh, rare, and then a non-rare if I lose again in a certain position. So people are going to wager me players. If they win, they not only do they downgrade me in that position, but they also get the value off me of the value they've uh, of the player they have wagered. I know it's very hard to explain, and hopefully the first game will sort of show you, and you'll be able to understand it by the end of the episode. Because I don't even understand it myself, basically. So the first game, someone in a guy, uh, some guy in the chat, he wagered me, Grant Holt, to be my first striker. This is a team he decided to pit me against. So my aim now is to win the game, get the player, put him in the team, and then basically get the team I want. Like a road to glory, basically, but I have not started with a starter pack. Now I have noticed that Ebanks Blake is... Ooh, he is OP and I will be keeping him for the last player to replace so yet again I'll explain what's going on if the guy beats me whoever the challenger is the player he has wagered i.e. Grant Holt I think if he's worth about 5k say then he beats me I pay him 5k and I downgrade the player I was going to replace to a rare bronze so in this case it would have been the right striker now I'm going to be doing this via live stream. I had uh, a lot of fun doing it last night. A lot, a lot of fun. And I hope uh, everyone else did as well. Now we've scored some, phew, honestly, wages. It's like virgin gaming. You're going to be doing some trampy stuff. But for some reason I never had to once. Never, never had to. So if you guys want to get involved in it, all you have to do is appear at... Um, my live stream, which is twitch.tv forward slash bits and 87 HD. There's a link in the description. And follow me on Twitter as well, that also notifies you when I am going live. Now, if I see you in there a few times, I will uh, play a match with you. Because, you know, it's a, it's a trust thing as well. And so far, I haven't been gypped with people not paying up. As I would pay up 100% anyhow. So we win our first game at 6-0. Quite a convincing result for what it was, and we take Grant Holt off um, off our first challenger. So for the second second game, I wanted to get a bit of the defence sorted. So one of the people in the chat again, not the same guy. Obviously, these are four different people we're playing. Uh, he wanted to wager me uh, for. The Aston Villa American goalkeeper Guzan is it? I think it is Guzan. I am absolutely crap with names. I'll have you know. So there we have Grant Holt in the team. He replaced the right striker, which was yeah. We're not even going to try his name. Obadei, Obadei. So we put Grant Holt, the white Heskey, in there. So we go into our second game with Grant Holt in there, and there we are, Guzan. He's the guy we're playing for this time. Now this guy is a hard challenger, Joshua Washua, his name is on Twitch. Uh, he had a very, very good, well, as you can see, Asian team. But unfortunately I didn't start recording until um, until we were past that point. So a bit of route one here, Ebanks Blake causing a bit of confusion with the defender, knocking him over. He brought the keeper out, scared me a little bit, so I tried to trump and then just finessed it in the bottom corner to make it 1-0 another thing guys each episode I will be doing a Brucey bonus because as we know these players aren't really high value well most of them aren't so far yet so if there's been no high value games i.e. over 20k I'll aim if anyone wants to do a wager for like to, for a big name player I say team of the season, someone informs someone, or even a rare player, worth a, worth a hell of a lot. 
I'll do that at the end of the episode. So you will get to see a Brucey bonus at the end of the episode, and why I did it as well. So there we are, we've took two players now, we have Guzan in the team. <coughs> and he was, uh, but, um, well Ruddy wasn't bad, he was upped, because uh, we're not playing online. We managed to get an upped one off the uh, market. And there we are. So we've got Frimpong in there. We've got a few others. Now that team is pretty beast considering it's non-rare. I haven't really talked about the team. Um, we've got the right mid who is a four-star skiller. But I don't think he was. I think it's three-star. So here we are going into the third game. I've forgotten who this one is against. I do apologise. Uh, and this one is wagered Anton Ferdinand. Not the inform, just a normal. And we take the lead with a power... Shot into the top corner near post to start things off. Now this shows how good Ebanks Blake is for non-rare. He is his long shots are amazing. His dribbling, his speed, really, really good. Now look at that boom bottom corner, and that is why we will be replacing him last. Now if you fellas have got fellas, if you ladies and gentlemen have got any um, players you want to see in the team. Then we will look to see if anyone wants to wager me for them in future episodes. So we're running riot here basically. 3-0. Soon to make it 4-0 with another long shot but dodgy keeping. Which is... Oof, I was surprised how well I was doing. But that's what happens when you're playing for something. You turn into an absolute monster. But near the end of the game, the 89th minute, he does a bit of close dribbling. And slots it in at the far corner to make it 4-1. Only consolation goal. Or is it? Because straight after that, he scores another to make it 4-2. But the game finished. We walked away with Anton Ferdinand. And then we get to add him to the team, as you'll see next. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the team now. A little bit more. So we have left mid, we have Pilkington. All the three centre-backs are pace it, above the 71 pace mark, because that's what you need in a 3-5-2 formation. <coughs> we have Emmanuel Frimpong in the defensive mid. You saw him score some rockets early on. You'll even score, see him score a rocket in this game, I do believe, coming up. Um, we have Mulumbu, I think it is, DM, and Maloney. Maloney at Cam, he is brilliant. Really, really good, decent long shot as well. So this one is for in uh, just for inform. This one's for the Ox Oxlade Chamberlain, as you can see with the quirky little cartoon face in the button corner. Now we've had to play a look. The defence this guy had it's pacey, it's strong, very difficult to get through. So I had to test the waters with uh, a cross, and Grant Holt steps up for his first goal for the team. So a bit of. Mm, I didn't really like, I don't really like Grant Holt, you'll see why. And something will happen at the end of the episode. So we managed to take the second, the goal, blah, 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 double the lead, sorry. We have another long shot from Ebanks Blake, slotted into the bottom corner. Fantabulabulous. And then just after that, we make it 3 0. With another power shot. From Emmanuel Frimpong. Leave it, yeah. Sounds so gay when I say it, but it was fun. So there we are, the fourth game, and it's 3 0. So we get Oxley Chamberlain to add to the team, and they're the four players we've taken tonight. So we've taken Guzan from Aston Villa, the keeper, Oxley Chamberlain in the last game, Anton Ferdinand, and Grant Holt. Now, Grant Holt. Grant Holt, Grant Holt, Grant Holt is absolutely awful. I do not like him. I wish I would never have got him, as there was plenty of non-rare. So what we're going to do, we, I offered a Brucey bonus. Da -da 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 Brucey bonus. Da -da 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 -da. So this is a Brucey bonus, and we are looking to get Barina. So I asked someone in the chat if they wanted to do a wager. For Baroni, if I won, they bought me Baroni. 
if I lost I would pay the equal amount so there we are 65k the person would have got and thankfully there was one person who wanted to play and he had an old gold team and we let him play with that instead of well he was a bit of an unfair advantage but there's no harm in the challenge now this game is I was taking it sweaty because bloody hell it's a high value and it's 68,000 so we are looking to get Barina to replace Grant Holt and Grant Holt knows this because he pumps straight through the defence and slots it into the bottom corner which is a bit of a shame because he will be gone if we win the game now the wager is a bit of a quirky picture again at the bottom you can't really tell who it is but it is Barini <coughs> now we managed to extend the lead with this which is a bit of a long shot by Maloney now this is what I'm talking about where Maloney's he's dribbling, he's shooting, he's brilliant and you'll see uh, later on again how good his long shot is so I've kept the highlights rolling here because straight after I scored I don't know why I'm watching all the highlights, I'm a bit of a bit of a noob at her. But directly after I scored, he did a bit of a skilled one from kickoff. Me and my terrible defending gives the ball back. And he just slots it in the top corner to make it 2-1. Game on, 68, 65k on the line. So the guy throws it out, we headed it back. Now I hate that about FIFA, the way you can head it back straight away you're on the attack. Especially when you're on the defending side of it. So Maloney makes it 3-1. We win the game. We win Baroni. The new Liverpool sign. I am a Liverpool fan myself. So it's nice. At the start of the next episode, you will see him in action against somebody. So there we are. We have replaced Grant Holt with Baroni. And there is the completed team from this episode. And thankfully, there is no bronzes in the team yet. And we're not far off going gold. Now I don't know whether to move it up on into golds from another league or what. We will have to wait and see. As this is on the first episode. So thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I hope you've liked the episode. If you have liked the episode please give it a like. Subscribe if you're not. And comment about future ideas or anything else I can do in the comment section below. See you again guys. Good night.